Good morning, Calvary, and welcome to your word for the day. My name is Pastor Mitch, and today our verse is James chapter 5, verse 13. But before we get there, we find ourselves in pain oftentimes throughout our life. Sometimes that pain is physical pain. Other times it's emotional. It could also be financial or relational pain. And when bad things happen, we often wonder why God let that happen to us. Sometimes we think that our pain is somehow due to God getting back at us or abandoning us to, due to some sin that we committed or, or a mistake that we made. And we allow that pain to push us away from God. However, I think that quite often our pain or our hardships have nothing to do with our holy God, but instead are a direct result of living in a sinful world. The Bible tells us that the wages of sin is death and, and that the, the sin has brought a curse onto this world. And the pain that we feel the pain that we experience is due to us living in a world full of sin. And that sin has the ability to hurt and damage us in many ways. Other people's sin often causes us, us pain, but the opposite is also true. That our sin can also lead to other people's pain. In James chapter 5, verse 13, we read this. Are any of you suffering hardships? You should pray. See, our pain, our hardships should not be something that separate us from God. But the Bible itself says that they are the very reason we should draw even closer to him. And when you're in pain, that we should talk to God about it. Working our way backwards through the book of James, uh, there is an idea that we see reiterated in James chapter 4. Verse 8, it says this. It says, come close to God and God will come close to you. And then at the beginning of the book of James, chapter 1, verses 2 through 6, it says, dear brothers and sisters, when trouble of any kind comes your way, Consider an opportunity for great joy, for you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow, for when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. And if you need wisdom, ask our generous God, and he will give it to you. He will not rebuke you for asking. But when you ask him, be sure that your faith is in God alone. Do not waver, for a person with divided loyalty is as unsettled as a wave of the sea that is blown and tossed by the wind. See, when we are going through hardships, we can choose to let them defeat us and tear us down, or we can choose to see them as something that can be used to build us up and develop us into the people that God has called us to be. Whatever your hardship is today, pray to God. <laughs> Give him your burdens and then see how God wants to use uh, the bad things in your life to draw you closer to him. Thank you for tuning in to your word for the day. Like and share this video, and we will see you tomorrow.